right, so I'm actually going to be putting this in at the start. I just finished speaking for the last almost hour for the vlog. I talked about a lot of different points that I think would be key points in helping you understand about our issues and what happened in Poland because this was quite a a big thing that happened with us. I hope this video finds you well, especially if you'll be traveling to Poland from especially specific third world countries, but in general, be ready for how the people are here. So uh, I hope you enjoy the video and find it useful. It's the next day. My birthday is past now and uh, I've got some sleep. I can actually reflect on what happened more so. I'm not happy with the way I ended that video last night. You can just deal with the people in the hotel, the way they function everywhere um, be a little bit quiet because it's going to be uh, about 1 30 a.m here the way people were here even picking us up free transportation from the, from the hotel it's like this weird strange ass van to get inside we really thought potentially we could even be getting kidnapped with the way things were especially first time in the country it's really strange it's not even a cultural difference vans and stuff these things are used for that. It was a horrible feeling preparing yourself to like have to try to attack someone, something was going wrong, and going the wrong directions and everything. And the way people act here as well, there's always like really rushed and really weird. And the way people drive is so violent, so fast to start up and just like hitting the brakes so fast. I, I feel like something's wrong. Like if I feel like something's wrong, something's wrong generally. It's always been this way. It's always worked this way. And it's always proven to turn out to be this way in any place I've been. Like in Brazil, always. I tried to ignore these things and be more optimistic, but you would always tell me, I think there's something wrong. And I still be try, try to be optimistic and know it turns out I'd be wrong. Sometimes you just need to be cold and direct and say, no, like, it's, I feel like something's wrong or there's something wrong here. The way those two girls treated us, especially her, was so horrible. I don't know if they were jealous or what. I think they were attracted to me and were like, treating me weird, acting weird, especially one of the girls, because then our girls, uh, one of the girls was looking at the other girl that was like being weird with me like trying to almost flirt even and she's just looking at her like you should be doing your job like what are you doing what are you trying to do and i saw this i just like really strange i saw more than ever a bunch of girls here at the airport everywhere just move like stare at me so much because i'm speaking english and i saw from not speaking english people won't give a crap but i speak english so they're like staring and looking a lot and like, seems like they were really interested in me and want me and I have had experience with this in Brazil but the way things are here is ex like worse worse than Brazil in a lot of ways and things seem better in a lot of ways here than Brazil however the people and the way they act is a huge thing and I prefer Brazilians almost in some way depending like it's better and worse and the same in different areas depending on where you're going like, uh, where it Absolutely. Like which field you're talking about. It, the way they treated her really pisses me off. The way they acted and just tried to focus on her because we've been together for a while, like traveling. And they know, they we told him, we told them. And they still just go and, and specifically target her horribly and uh, really rude with her. And we go back, <clears throat> like she tries to come back to uh, go out and uh, like ask them if she can, They're like, no, you, you will not. And they looked really pissed off when they saw that her urine sample came out to be clean. They tested like five times, I think she said. They kept testing and testing, testing, trying to find something. They were so desperate to try to find something and were hoping she would have something wrong with her. And no, nothing. It's like they wanted to like have me or some crap. I don't even freaking know what's wrong with them. They were so just a horrible, horrible experience. It reminds me what, about what people go through having issues in Egypt. Completely. I watched a guy's vlog on this. Egypt is a horrible place. I think uh, what happened with me was more humiliating than the guy in Egypt went through because mm -hmm. I saw his videos. He obviously had a horrible horrible experience and i believe he had to go to different people please even like spent several hours waiting and speaking with people showing documents that's it but my experience was more like a personal really severe like like a invasion mm -hmm. of privacy it's not even that anymore it's like i don't know how to explain yeah i hear it uh, there is more like uh, people being stupid about stuff and uh, really being like paranoid as hell. Here, it was that 
plus just more invasion and it looks like personal jealousy and just like taking things personally everywhere. Then she went out to come tell me what happened and started trying to speak and they looked at her like, shut up, don't speak to him, get out of here. And it was just like horrible. By the time this was done, they weren't even looking at me good anymore. Like they hate her so much that they started even looking at me just like weird. And I saw all the people at the airport. I saw the way a guy was treating other people, especially an Asian. They hated Asians more. They hated Asians really a lot. Families from another area, I can't remember where. Uh, if it was Asian, was it? Yeah, yeah, it was Asian. It was <clears throat> Japan, maybe even China or something. Yeah, like and they were treating a whole family horribly because they missed their flight and their baggage was going on without them. But I saw like one Asian female by herself, a younger girl. And they were treating her so bad. She had like a bunch of bags. They're forcing her to like leave stuff. And it was about, one was about to fall. The guy was taking it. She was gonna try to grab it to help. And he's like, don't, don't touch this. I got all this. And her bag was like almost gonna fall. And if it fell, like he wouldn't give a crap basically. And he's like trying to say, oh, I can do this. He was such a piece of trash with her. We were watching this and just like terrified. We're like, what country did we just go in? So horrible the way they treat people. They're treating me better because I'm American? Piss off, you piece of disgusting trash. What's wrong with you? Oh, you treat me good because I'm American. Do you think I give a damn? What good are you doing to other people and treating other people? Piece of trash. I'll have to burn in hell. Get out of here. That's horrible. I, I hope you people agree with me because they can't treat people like this. You can't do that. Just because you're Asian? Or black or whatever. I didn't see any black people having issues. I didn't see black There's people in general. Black people, no, yeah, black so you know. no black people. No black people. It's severe. You, that's yeah. not good. You have to see at least one person in mm -hmm. the whole huge airport if you don't see that. Maybe that's why, because you were darker than our people. They're also causing you issues. Really racist people, probably. I think black people even come here more so just because I. People are aware they, they, enough of the experience. They, they cannot even come here because I feel like if they come here, they will just get stuck. And mm -hmm. They maybe like do something very severe to them. You maybe. Can never see a black person. It's really weird, street. right? Because there's a lot of black people in other areas like France, America, all these places, and, and nothing here. So I think there's a lot of racism going on here. I cannot say much about black people, but most likely what we say is correct. But I saw a track with an Asian, young Asian girl. The guy was speaking to her so horribly and violently. I wanted to like just punch that guy in the face. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I want to punch him in the face with the way he was treating her. That's that's disgusting. I, I, I wanted to vomit when I saw the way people's conduct was, the way they were acting, the way we're even being treated. It feels like everywhere. It's just it feels dirty. It feels wrong. It feels like it feels like just Brazil it feels wrong in a lot of ways. I'm pretty shocked because Brazil has a lot of problems. I have a lot yeah. of enemy, a lot of problems. First flight we had a from Fortaleza to Rio. We just arrived and we were like trying to get help from the airline. If you want to know the airline, I don't know if you can say because uh, sometimes it can be sued to say like names of airlines or anything. Like I took the airline, I'll say, I don't give a damn. They don't try to sue me. Okay, I have a Decently powerful family, I will get the best lawyer I can and try to flick the hell out of them. They already caused me issues so many times. It's LATAM. Mm -hmm. LATAM, the same damn company I've been suing for two years almost now. Piece of trash company, horrible, horrible company. Would never recommend them. Workers. Workers don't function. They cause us hell. They ruined your birthday. They ruined so many things. LATAM is the biggest piece of trash I've ever dealt with. And their lawyers. I saw in their lawyers they're using for a lawsuit, they're so corrupt, they're such dirty, filthy lawyers that they just don't care about anything but money, they don't care about doing what's right. It's like police officers and, and lawyers will be like, oh, we go into our profession for doing the right thing, and you just see like, you, you people are some of the biggest pieces of trash in history. Lawyers and police officers are some of the worst people you'll ever, ever, ever see. I am existing to speak the damn truth. If people want to try to arrest me or prosecute me, I can't live my life not speaking the truth. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel I can live this way. Seeing these things, people need to know. They try to persecute you and, and do things to you because they don't want you telling people what's actually happening. 
I'm not lying. I'm just speaking the truth. If you're getting arrested for that, there's a damn issue going on. I think a lot of people would agree with that. The problem is more people need to stand up and agree together. Like what's going on in Paris, in France, like people need to get together and support the truth, support what's right. If there's something wrong going on, and it's scary to say this because I know what I'm saying right now I can get governments trying to put you in prison. In America as well, they try to say, oh, you're trying to inc incite, like, uh, start some type of riots and stuff. No. Oh, no, 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 it's not even that. By the way, when you try to like apply for an American visa, I remember because uh, you went through like, some type of course to like try to do that. But yes, some type of course yeah. that's to let you know Americans how hard it is to get the visa to just like mm -hmm. barely breathe in that country. If you do anything yeah. wrong, you are freak. And the questions are crazy. They're mm -hmm. crazy. Anything you do, oh, you went to. Uh, against your government, against any government, did you do anything, uh, are you a terrorist, like anything uh -huh. you do against them, they will call you a terrorist. And the governments are the people who are terrorizing the population, and you can't stand up or do anything, you know what that means? It means you're in a damn dictatorship. You saw the history where people would be able to go and do something to fix what's going on. No, it's just like, oh, you're one of them protesters. You're conspiracy theorists. You're going to get, uh, yeah. Even companies that are using right now a specific website to search you to see if you ever were in any protests. It's so horrible because this is going to get worse, especially with AI coming up. I'm not happy in this world with the way things are. And I know that millions of people, millions and millions of people are feeling the same as me. We're not alone. The problem is we're, we're too separated and we, like, people can't speak together. It feels like there's like there are too many people against us. Like same thing that happened in, in Nazi Germany. People would literally be supporting the police and horrible governments and, and burning Jews alive. And people would be supporting this saying, don't go against, everyone. literally saying, don't go against the government and the police. Everyone, there's I'm in so shock. many movies that probably Hundreds. It's not yeah. stopping, and it's all real. History just repeats itself, and it's gonna get worse as time goes on. I figure next 20 years, things are gonna get so bad to where some type of war, world war, is gonna have to start. World War Three, and history is gonna reset itself to get like back into control again a little bit. I hope. For example, you're getting out of your plane and there's always people in front of there to like getting a passport to check if it's you. You're just getting out of their plane, you barely get out. Like you're still in their line. Um, I don't think I recall having too many issues with so many things other than Europe in general. Wasn't it France as well? They start checking yes. passports. So they're all just like checking your passports right off, uh, even though you already go out of the country. Like they don't trust the people in Brazil to check your passports. And Brazilians are like still pretty decent with checking passports, checking stuff, and they don't trust them. It's, it's cringe. Uh, they saw our passport, and they were like, "Tickets, please." And the other people were just like, "Okay, uh, can go." No showing tickets at all. Yes, it was in Poland, and like there's yeah, other. And too. Yeah. Like, other people, not us. So just specific people, they will look at your passport first to see mm -hmm. where you're from. And then if uh, it's neat, they're gonna ask for your tickets mm -hmm. to see if your bag is in there. I feel like if you are not from a good country mm -hmm. like me, you never travel with a check baggage. Mm -hmm. Just with a hand baggage and you can still have problems. Exactly. Be careful what country you're from if you're traveling with a check baggage. And in Poland, like these, these two women, there's other people, a bunch of people going, no problem, us randomly. It's like, ah, oh, we're having issues with you. And just the way these two girls acted were just like, once we finally got there, they're trying to act like they're helping us. I already knew what was going on. I already knew completely. I was like, there's something going on. What's wrong with these people? But once we got there, they're just like, ah, oh, surprise, we're actually baggage. So, so we're baggage trackers and we're going to be, uh, you know, doing some stuff to your baggage. Basically, and I'm just like, oh no, these are cogsuckers, these are horrible people. People in this country in general are really weird mentally. The way they drive, the way they speak to you and act. There's like 12, 12 dollars almost, 10, 12, 11, 12 dollars for like a short, short trip. And I'm like, like 10 or 11 euros. 
they're they're trying to charge euros and trust me we saw the prices around here we now have been able to confirm that there's a major rip off it is nothing new people trying to rip you off at the airport for, for like taking you places right this is everywhere in the world but the fact that this stuff's allowed means like especially like the way those people were and it's cold out and and literally the guy was just like i was like saying, telling him i'm not you see these prices is pretty expensive you know i'm usually don't spend that much on in brazil he's just like basically like okay have fun in the cold uh, his expression uh, his answer was like this uh oh and this is the price uh I'm here if you need, if you want to take for this price, but this is the price, and that's it. Uh, I'm gonna be here, but I'm not gonna do for anything else. <coughs> like, that's it. That's that's the yeah. price, okay? Um, goodbye. Yeah, thank you. Just like I was outside freezing yeah. in the cold for quite a long time. It was after all the long flights and, and those two women were horrible oh, pieces of trash with us. And uh, when I explained to the fact that we didn't get the first taxi, it's because he said we had too many bags and uh, we first was looking far away and then he was pointing, are all those bags yours? And then we were like, yeah. And then he was like, uh... It's crazy because it's like one of the biggest vehicles we saw in our entire time in Brazil and it's in Poland now. And I saw him try to even put the piano case and it's not even the biggest, I guess he's still on the uh, key piano. And he just like barely even tried to put it in. I saw, I could have absolutely got that in. And here they refuse to put it in the front seat or do anything like in Brazil. Anything. He said yeah. <clears throat> if it's not going the trip, it's not going anywhere and then you cannot take the trip. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah, like how bad these people are in, in the way they are. It's like, why are you a taxi driver if you're not willing to use your vehicle to like help the, the client? You're supposed to be helping the customer properly. I'm very disappointed with the way people are here. This is not professional. Brazilians are more professional than Polish. Is it right? Am I like understanding? Yeah. I really want to let you guys know and understand exactly what happened because I was afraid to record or do anything in a situation. I'm sure you understand. No, I'm not lying. I'm not making anything up. This country is not ideal. It Empty, it feels the weird. It's like we North it's Korea. Korea. The thing is, do you support racism? Do you support people being treated like trash because they're Asian or Brazilian or they're not white from the United States or France, for example? Do you support that? If you're not going to support that. I assume almost all of you will agree with me. You don't support this. Thank you. Because we need to work together against the way people are. People and we need more people like you. Yeah, we need more people. We need to stop these things. And I don't agree with what all these groups do in supporting too much pride in different groups of people and ethnicities and all this. Because there's a balance. But when I see someone being treated like that, it makes me want to vomit. Something turns in my stomach, piss off. Like it makes me so angry, so angry. You do not treat people like that. What did you say before we got on the trip? If we had an issue, be careful. Uh, females are gonna be Hitler. They're gonna be the worst ever. They're gonna try to find any type of problem, even knowing that we don't have anything. They're gonna be the worst and the worst. You can't think they're gonna be extremely dangerous be super careful this is gonna be hard and that's coming from a female nothing to do with me as a white male she literally said that before the trip <laughs> oh look what happened but i do want to make it clear the person being horrible with the asian was a male one of the worst guys i ever ever saw he was really like i don't even have words he was so bad in the way he was acting and he started treating me better because oh like even when he's speaking so kind of rough to start but once he started finding out americans with my english he was like less bad but for her ooh. imagine you traveling by yourself in a, mm -hmm. in a country they don't even know in this country people always speak in their language their own language they do not speak english when they're by your side the problem is they okay they're speaking their own language but the problem is that the bigger is like you what you're trying to say speaking about correct you. it's not that they're speaking their language it's that they're like it's like in english if you hear if you speak in someone who's just like, you're like because they know they're doing something wrong 
uh-huh. and you speak like a, like less loud. They speak less loud, and sometimes even like this, like what happened with you with the two girls? They still did this in a language just to make sure you wouldn't hear. They were really bullying you. It's such horrible mistreatment. You would think you're in some horrible country. I guess this country is pretty horrible. It's a second world country. What do you expect? From what I saw, I think basically the, the only country that I saw that was first world and not third world that was in the southern hemisphere below, like down below bottom of Earth, the earth was Australia. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Australia, New Zealand, sorry. So there's really something weird maybe with like how people act in the Southern Hemisphere. It looks like progression is more difficult for some reason. But this has been our experience in Poland. And I honestly, I'm not going to add this to their video probably. I'm just going to end up posting this on YouTube by itself because it's 30 minutes. And I won't be uploading this stuff for a while. So it's like, okay, whatever. But uh, in Brazil, I would have this feeling more of people spying on us with like video. Here, it feels like... I don't know, I have this feeling of people more more so like spying uh, with audio and hearing. And I said this to you earlier, just like, I just randomly got this feeling for no reason, just that maybe someone was hearing us. I really think what you said is true because we are having a horrible time today in this hotel. I am truly believing in the putting puzzles together and pieces together. Pieces. And I think of what he's saying each time more like, I think it's correct because I think after he said that, I feel like the want to put us in a red flag. Yeah, he started um, being weird with us and more rude and having more issues. Anything we are asking for that's basic is so simple. Or included in, in our price and stuff, for example. They're always saying no, but the problem is when they say no, it's like, it's wasting my time. They will tell me, okay, we're gonna do this, okay, we're gonna go there, the, don't worry, like, we and just wait for us and that okay and it goes by like 30 minutes after like of you waiting like you know something's wrong because yeah it, like, prepare very fast and it would take a long time finally they'll call you back and say oh we can't do this and so the problem is that they don't even tell you like <coughs> they can do it they just tell oh i'm sorry and we're like oh we prefer to give it to other person that asked this so, and for sure we don't have anything Sorry, and then like, they turn off so quick. They should stock things better as well and have enough for a guest, especially because we are paying for the best room in this hotel. This hotel was the best one we could find in the city. Not even there's not even just for the price on us. Oh, Unless you want to spend two or three hundred dollars a night. Yeah, absolutely. The rooms are pretty great. But the service is abysmal. It feels really not cool, especially with the transportation and everything. Like there's a lot of room for improvement. And if you're wondering, $80 a day is a lot here. Let's just think about the fact that we're not using euros, we're using Zlati. Think about how much get, people get paid here. $600 a month max, right? 3,000 Zlati for these people is a, like their salary. So when you're paying like that much for seven days at a hotel, yeah, the hotel is like pretty high up and two or three hundred dollars a day is just for the tourists, trying to attract tourists and crap, uh, not people living here. The refrigerator, the refrigerator. They lock the refrigerator up and they only let you use it if you're gonna like buy something from it. They, the first time I ever saw, I never had this in Brazil. The normal small refrigerator there and they just lock it up and even if I show it, like, it doesn't matter because, like, you can't even see the refrigerator. It's locked up behind cabinets and, like, this lock on it that it's like a circle. You got to stick a key in it, turn it. It's one of those type of, like, door locks. And you literally can't get into it. You can't store food or do anything. And you're paying for, like, a pretty expensive hotel, a best room, and, and you just... Is it the culture here? Because if so, like, that's a piece of trash about the culture. You so. Your Cold, you can like for example you buy a cake for example it's just his birthday if you yeah. not eat the whole cake where do you put that where do you put that i asked ah. about if they could do something if there is anything at all for someone's birthday and it's just like i'm sorry unfortunately there is nothing and my city i was talking to the hotel and they have so many different things like if it is someone's birthday anything like they have like a preparation of the room 
that you go and can call them. They will get everything ready with the flowers everywhere, uh, champagne with a, a bucket of uh, um, ice, I believe, and a bunch of different things. That's crazy. Yeah. Maybe even give you like a bath area that we prepare with oh, yeah. different things also and really pretty decoration for your birthday in case if you went to the water that time. I didn't want to pay them because I, I thought any money that time was like too much for me because it was too poor. So I asked the hotel if they could have helped me to prepare the room for you. I believe they said yes, uh, they could have helped me uh, like uh, blowing the balloons, doing anything and yeah. it would be for free. I didn't even like remember any of this actually bringing it back to me. Uh, there's a big issue here, I think. I'm shocked. This isn't just Brazil, by the way. I mean, let, let's clarify. That's not Brazil. That is a specific city in the country. We travel all over. The city, the mayor is like one of the best I saw. All their wiring, he wanted to do like the U.S. when he visited the U.S. So he went and put it all underground. And the city looks beautiful, amazing, the way things are. Be careful with the south of Brazil, though, like oh, really bad there. You don't even travel there. But anyways, yeah. this, this is about Poland and yeah. comparing some issues here. If you're wondering, yes, it is my birthday here. Like, we put this up. I can't believe how fast time's going by. I'm already gonna be like 25 next year. I was just like 14 or 12 years old, even 16. Like, man, time goes by quick. I don't feel like I changed that much in so many ways since about 14, 15 years old. After that, I've just been like learning new things like you would go into college, obviously, you know, like acquire more data. But besides that, it's like roughly around 14, maybe even definitely you're just I don't know, you know what I'm talking about? Kind of where you feel like you don't change much more mentally. I know a lot of people don't like that. Usually they keep changing mentally. Maybe a lot of people up until their 30s even, from what I saw. But for me, 14 really feels like the point where I maxed out. So depends on, on each person's mental capacity and the way they are. We have this type of culture. We like decided to do this because of our time experience, like traveling. And uh, we always send a message in Airbnb to the people before traveling there. Yeah. And the way they respond, the way they respond tells you how city your country is. And they send a message to Polish people, and obviously they're gonna like somewhere in the first time. Like, at least be normal with you. Yeah. I won't say like a soccer club, but be normal. But if they discover where you're from, if your country is not like America, like the kingdom, or anything like that, they would just like uh, be like, uh, I wish you uh, great luck and I'm looking for yeah, a place. Yeah, I was or like, like that. talking but with. Bye with the woman because you had mentioned you're coming from Brazil and the woman just literally on Airbnb starts being like oh well I wish you luck in your search basically I'm just like I responded I didn't, I didn't check back I think I don't even know what she said but completely from the way she's writing that message to you the same way from, with a person from France as well yes absolutely that I want to make that clear not everyone's trash from South America like, there are some decent people but it's it's rarer of course but like you can't just exclude everyone and be racist about a continent. Like, there are some good people. I found you, for example, like, and a lot of Americans are not good either. <laughs> I've been around plenty of them. They really gave me trauma, a lot of assaults, a lot of different things. Um, very psychopathic people in a lot of ways, definitely. Um, even though when you talk to an AI chatbot, they're programmed to say that Americans are standard like everybody else. and. I absolutely do not believe that. I think Americans have some more issues with violence, uh, especially because of the way their culture is there. It's really just difficult the way people are in general, but honestly, I when things happen out of the ordinary, like with Poland, that's not acceptable. You can't know the in countries because we had the chocolate and uh, we said that chocolate is amazing it's from Turkey and mm -hmm. I know if we didn't say where that was from they would not ever check mm -hmm. but because it's Turkish <clears throat> even noise in Europe they don't freaking care they think it's, mm -hmm. it's poor the people is weird don't fucking care where you're from if you're from Europe they're mm -hmm. gonna check your fucking ass and they were like Oh, this chocolate is from, from, from They took and broke one of them open and, and literally checked the chocolate and they thought like Oh 
about the way they were invasive, about looking through everything. It was horrible. It was so, so just violating. It's not even just about what they did. It was just about the way they did and the way they spoke and the way their conduct was and how they were doing things. I just kept saying, I'm here for my birthday because I didn't want to say anything else. Like, we're here to go get you your U.S. visa to get you into not Brazil, almost said Brazil, uh, into the United States. I was not going to say that. Like, uh, like you said, you, you're just going to follow along with me. If I didn't say it, you know, you weren't going to mention it. And it, it is my birthday. I'm also here for my birthday. That's why I, you know, do, do, kill two birds with the same stone, right? As the saying goes. So they were just like, shut up. Really? That's it. That's it. And, like, and, and the way they were speaking was so sarcastic. like... Justin was like, I'm here for my birthday. And they were like, and, 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 like, it's, like, it's not should I, should I be worried? Smart. It's like, should I be worried about how bad this country is? Because no other country, France, would be asking me that. They make you feel like you're wrong. Like, they truly make you feel like you're packing drugs or something, even knowing that you're not. Mm -hmm. Like, they make you feel like you're a <clears throat> criminal. If, if there is that feeling, they start even being afraid of yourself. I didn't have that. I was just like, wow, these people are really pieces of trash, right? Yeah. I'm like, well, how much more of my time are you going to be wasting? And they're 25 hours on the trip. Yeah. And there's a reason why we didn't get to sleep till late last night, especially stressed out in Nava. And woke up and missed my whole day of my birthday, basically. Mmm, these people in the airports, they're just, they think they're gods. They think they can go do whatever they want. I really hope these people just honestly get fricked. I hope these bad people just get fricked and have a horrible miserable time because I'm so tired of them just ruining people's lives. It's not normal you go to the airport and there's police everywhere. Police. And the people yeah. that get your passports, like when you just get on the plane, and they're all like these guns, I feel like, I believe. They're all like mm -hmm. police and checking everything. And uh, we just saw this when we came to Europe, we started with friends. And we were completely shocked because it, you just see a bunch of police. It's like there's no normal people there. The whole airport is just police people checking people everywhere. And that was insane because in Brazil, it's just a it's normal people. Like they don't see police there at all. You would not see police there. Like if they really need the police, if they will confirm you have something, and then they will actually call the police. Yeah. The police will come. Like you're just like. No, I... There was a dog. Dogs like, for drugs uh -huh. and rough people in general. And uh, I I like how like a bunch of people like that were from. France and other places and other Brazilians on the plane and they go through it and there's no problem but like randomly we are having a problem and just especially because my birthday was showing on my passport tomorrow and I'm like hey I'm here for my birthday and like we just also happen to be doing another thing I don't want to speak about it to them because I don't know if they'll have some other issue and try to freak me in some way I just want to be done to the US embassy. exactly I, I don't I don't not that everything we've been through. I don't want to risk anything. I just want this to be over and get into the United States. I just want to do this because I'm I'm uh, so tired of just having two years of hell and no. Anyways, I I don't know. I just don't recommend Poland. I'm sorry for any other people going through hell, having issues here. You should not be treated like this. If there is something after death, like hell, or, for example, I truly believe that these people will be going to it. And if not for eternity, at least for a while until they're just like in some type of standard of life, like what you have, that can be miserable in some way for eternity. Like, these people are so bad. Or even if there's just like, let's say blackness after, like, that's not good enough for them. Like, these people are so miserable. I don't know why people want to make it besides hell. It's already hard enough living. How much work your body goes through just to keep Keeping blood, you get food, nutrients, water, oxygen, and all the things that your body is going through every second to keep you alive. And these people cause you more issues and more health all the time, and put more stress or cortisol hormone inside you. It just don't stop. Especially the plane we went was like 10 hours of flight. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> their friends. On they will be treating you horribly if you do not speak French. And 
I would have had to come and thankfully I had run some French. And they started really like doing special things to me, especially because they spoke French. Like, dude, Air France, big issues with that. If you should not speak their language, you should be speaking English, right? And they should be serving you, being professional. You, stuff. you could try calling people, they don't come so much of the time. From Qatar Airlines or whatever, I think United Arab Emirates, I saw. These people may be far more professional. We need to take them to see how things actually are, but that's not how mine should be, like, properly professional. It was horrible because, like, we basically didn't have water for the 10 hours flights. Mm -hmm. We didn't know how important to have a water, water in the flight because uh, you get dehydrated really. You lose, like, oh over one liter of water maybe per hour, and we are still recovering from dehydration not well. Yeah. Um, just desperate because but, I really want to <clears throat> of water. Just kind of keep reflecting on what's happened. This is my first time this has happened, so obviously it's far more shocking. But I know there will be people making fun of us saying, Oh, you're, you're just weak. You should get used to it. No, you should not get used to this. You should never get used to being mistreated. I will fight to the death and disagree with anyone who speaks that. And I'm just really displeased with the way people are here. Not happy. We'll keep traveling around, finding some place of interest that's better. Uh, I think some of the better areas will be in more like uh, maybe the Midwest of the U.S. Uh, but still, gotta be careful. I know big cities in the U.S. are not ideal. Not ideal at all. Like Detroit, really dangerous. Probably a piece of trash people, I imagine. Never been there, but probably. We're gonna go on a few hours here and try to do something for my birthday, right? The day after. I'm just celebrating the whole month for my birthday. Like, may as well. Okay, every day. No, no, I'm just like, go get a cake sometime. I didn't have a cake or anything for my birthday. It's gone now, so I didn't get to celebrate or do anything. I uh, was just trying to recover with our, with our health after everything that's happened. Just, I was supposed to call up the baggage as well, like our email, go do all that, because they broke our baggage for a piano. Uh, yeah, the keyboard. That was not small. It's like the whole baggage is not A huge like, amount of it just broken. We are afraid of even, like, Using it, yeah. And we gotta do this quick. They have two weeks to respond, so I don't even know about doing this. We'll have to two try to. Weeks. Yeah, Might be able to try to get by with this somehow, but yeah, it's, it's rough. This has been more of a podcast at this point. I know there's probably something we're forgetting, but just please hear us out. Don't support people supporting racism. It's not just the airport. These people here, they just care about you if you're American, basically speaking English. She's magic. Oh, wow. Just like start changing like the females more because they, they want your you know what. Maybe even they're going to get pregnant or something. I don't even freaking know these people. It's so weird. The way the girls look at me, it makes me feel creeped out. It's like, why are you staring at me so much? Ugh. Even Brazil is like this almost, except for the north. The yeah, north, the north horrible. Yeah. <laughs> the, the north winds, they, they... Like, uh, uh, we told them that we were partners, and uh, Justin was telling them, the girl, like, oh, that he had a permanent issue with uh, his attendant, and uh, she was just yeah. like uh, grabbing her hair and putting like, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like, laughing like that, and I was like, and she like was ignoring me, like, uh, I was not like his partner at all. Yeah. Uh, if, uh, well, first let me speak. Uh, I, I think the, the north of Brazil maybe wins uh, for people staring, definitely. But these people are not far behind, like for girls specifically staring at me. I, I would lean definitely more towards asexual than like straight. If I had to choose, probably or someone in the middle. So, in general, I'm not like so interested in girls in general. The way most guys are so like when girls are off doing this i don't get like happy about it want to go cheat i just look at them like what's wrong with you can you be professional please so it really helps me with being logical and <laughs> avoiding a lot of big situations because you don't know how much hell you can get in sleeping with a bunch of girls you run your life pretty quick we're not animals we have laws and systems and, and legality and you're responsible for what you do in most countries at least we go ahead and end this here 55 minutes basically Anything else you'd like to say? <laughs> I probably should stop. I probably have something, right. but it's gonna be too long, so I just Alright, um, thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. And uh, if you had any similar experiences in Poland or you saw other people having issues in Poland like that, let's work together to try to help stop these bad people from being racist and just treating people like trash in general because they're not from specific countries. Thank you very, very much for 
watching this and just being here. This will be my 30th first vlog, maybe. It's really nice being able to speak about how things are in the world and actually tell the truth and not just be like oh everything's amazing like people do because that's fake <laughs> we need more people like me speaking the truth because there are good things and bad things and people just try to talk about the good things like why you're screwing people when they travel you need to let them know what what they're going to expect potentially especially if they're going from one country to another so if this video finds enough people and uh yeah that's about it thank you for watching and i will see you in the next vlog